नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई इंसिस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट मैक्सिमम पीपल कैन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस नॉलेज विच इज एब्सोल्युटली फ्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी कैथोडिक प्रोटेक्शन so if you are working with the uh, construction and site activities especially for the pipeline or for some uh, metallic structures then definitely you must have come across this term cathodic protection so what is this cathodic protection what actually it means so that we are going to see uh, he, in this video we can see that there is a pipe and uh, there is uh, some uh, connections wires are being attached to it then there is a probe electrode and uh, basically basically this arrangement uh, you must have come across if you have visited a site and if it is having the cathodic protection of course it will have so today this video in cut short we are going to see what is this cathodic protection number 1 number 2 uh, what is the purpose of that so this these two points that we are going to focus on this video and third one is the um, how it functions that we are uh, that we will try to understand so let's move ahead and see uh, what this cathodic protection is basically the cathodic protection uh, is a system uh, or a um, arrangement to protect the pipe from corrosion that is the uh, first and most important uh, uh, use or the application of this cathodic protection to reduce the corrosion so why we can see here this is a pipe and there we can see the uh, corrosion which has taken place here corrosion has been taken place so why this corrosion takes place that we are going to understand first especially for the buried pipes and the pipes or the structures where the two structures come across or two different uh, uh, pipes are connected like here we can see this is pipe 1 and this is pipe 2 they are connected together of course there is a gasket in between maybe a maybe a metallic gasket so uh, the we have seen in our uh, basic sciences that uh, there is something called as a electrolytic cell in which we have uh, two poles one is uh, called as anode and the other one is called as the cathode so uh, in an electrolytic cell uh, when these two uh, poles are there Uh, the current will flow from uh, the anode to cathode uh, and uh, the anode will lose whatever uh, material that is there on the anode it will be due to the current flow it will be deposited on deposited on the cathode and um, it will it will shrink the, uh, whatever the piece which is on the anode that will shrink that will uh, that will lose its material so uh, when we uh, apply this analogy on the buried pipes or the structures which are in contact with some other uh, structure dissimilar because they are connected together uh, like for example this pipe we can see here two pipes are connected here so what happens uh, when it is buried or it is connected with the earth uh, it becomes an uh, anode and cathode and uh, there is a the one which is anode it loses the material and ultimately because of that uh, here we can see the, that is the effect of this corrosion uh, so this cathodic uh, cathodic the two uh, types of uh, due to this uh, effect uh, there is a corrosion so this is the phenomena and to Uh, the, and for the solution to this we have the cathodic protection so basically understanding 
the cathodic protection we can see here uh, before we proceed ahead i will i would like to give a very interesting example uh, to understand this this is called as sacrificial anode and this is the pipe uh, which we desire to protect uh, see here we can see that there is an uh, electrical uh, rectifier which is having a positive and negative uh, poles uh, this is anode and this is a cathode so the cathode is connected to the pipe and the anode here is nothing but the sacrificial uh, anodes which are the piece so why it is called sacrificial because when there is a corrosion and if we are not using the cathodic protection then this pipe will become anode and uh, due to the and due to the uh, phenomena what we have seen earlier uh, this anode will lose the its material because the current will flow from uh, anode so whatever the material it is having it will get deposited somewhere else so now to avoid this phenomena and protect this pipe we are using a substitute material for that anode and that is called as a sacrificial anode okay so uh, it will it will undergo the oxidation whatever that corrosion will take place so when this will happen so instead of pipe this sacrificial pieces they will get corroded and the pipe pipe uh, will be protected okay so i i can give a very uh, basic example how uh, in nature we have seen that whenever there is a lizard so if someone if there is any threat for the lizard so it immediately releases its tail and the tail becomes very much active whereas the lizard uh, it is not that active so whoever is the predator so he will first uh, see the tail which is there and he will attack the tail and uh, he, he will uh, eat that tail or consume that tail and the lizard will be safe so the same uh, phenomena we can see here same uh, kind of uh, logic is here that to protect the pipe which is more important there is something called as the sacrificial anode and uh, this is how we can avoid or we can uh, i will not say avoid but we can increase the life of that uh, piping pipeline and uh, reduce the rate of corrosion so this is basically um, the one which we, we can see here this is the rectifier so this is the anode and uh, here is the uh, these anodes are there and uh, this is the negative that is the cathode is attached to the piping and because of this <coughs> there is a current flow and uh, uh, the, because of this current flow this the thickness or this will get reduced because it's an anode and the pipe will get protected so this is the basically how in very layman's language how this cathodic protection uh, will prevent the corrosion of piping and structure uh, especially which is outside and which is buried or connected with the soil so uh, this is all about the video uh, we insist you again to like and comment you can provide your valuable feedback on this uh, we read i personally read all the comments uh, and uh, i will get back to you with those comments if you have any questions i can make uh, some uh, videos also if there are any doubts with you so uh, please give me your uh, response on how you like this video and once again I thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.